Okay, everyone, so we're going to be looking in this video at how to make a normalized database. All right, so the process is they'll probably give you some spreadsheet or some file, and what they're going to ask you to do is to make that file into a form that can be imported into Access and in such a way that you make it into 3NF form. So what you're going to be doing with the file that they give you is you're taking out information which is relatable into its own spreadsheet. The second thing you're going to do is once you've done that with all the information, make sure each field is only dependent on the primary key, the main one, and not on any other. Okay, so you'll have one primary key, and uh, you don't want any other field to rely on any other code in that spreadsheet. Okay, only on the primary key. You're then going to remove the duplicates. So if you look at the primary keys in the files that you have, if there are duplicates in the primary keys, you're going to remove the duplicates. Then once we've done that, you're going to import into Access. You're going to make sure the field names are short and meaningful, consistent data types are correct. You're going to make relationships between the tables, and that's going to be the 3NF form. Okay, so this is the 2019 paper, QP2. So they say manipulate and merge the two files examined in step 15. So as you saw in class, basically we had a notepad file. We just pretty much highlighted everything copied and we pasted it into our Excel document. Okay, so I'm skipping that because that's just copy paste. I'm just making sure that information lines up. Okay, then they say examine the venue type data and use this to create the venue type code for each employee. H for hotel, R for restaurant, S for ski school. Okay, just to show you that again, so the venue type. If it says ski school, we're going to type in, it's going to say S here. If it says restaurant here, it should say R. If it says hotel here, it should say H. So just to show you again, that's that if statement equals if. So if this value here is equal to ski school, what we're going to do is we want the value if true. If it's ski school, as you saw there, S should appear. If not, then you say if again. Then we're going to test if this is maybe hotel then if it is it's an h and then we don't have to use another if statement there are three options to choose from that we want to display so you subtract one from that which means you have two if statements so if it's not a ski school it's not a hotel it's just a restaurant so we just put r at the end <clears throat> it's going to replicate this and we have our codes there that looks like it's working Alright, so the best thing to do now is to save this as a .csv file. So this formula probably doesn't affect your file as you copy and paste things. Because basically they say straight away, save the new file in a comma separated value format. Name the file employees. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to go file, save as, and let's call this employees. And make sure it's CSV. Okay, I think as uh, your evidence for your candidate number would follow, so that's what they've got there. Uh, save it. Say yes. Okay, so you can see at this moment the formula is still here. So if I close this file, okay, I've already saved it. And I open it up from where I've saved it. So here it is here. So it's a .csv file now. You'll see that the formula has disappeared, so we can copy and paste without worrying that this formula is going to disappear. Okay, so just resize everything. I'm going to click on this little triangle, double click on the A and the B. Okay, cool. So this is the information that now what we have to do with is take data which is relatable to its own spreadsheet. Okay, so if we look at this file, basically the main difference that you can see between the information here is that these columns here are talking about an address, or addresses, or venues. And this information here is mainly with the all well, the job codes and the employees' full name and surname. So this group of information here can be linked together. This has all got to do with venues and addresses. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this, see what happens. I'm going to go File, New, Blank Workbook, and just paste that information into its own spreadsheet. Okay, so that's the first step. We're taking relatable data, 
to its own spreadsheet. All right, so if we look at this information now, the addresses, we need to make sure, according to these first three steps, according to the second one now, that each field is only dependent on the primary key. So in this, um, this file here, you need to choose which is going to be the primary key. So remember, the primary key is a code, um, which can be used to find information from all the data. So the primary key in this file is going to be the venue code. So venue type, the ski school, you see, basically you can get, uh, so the place of employment, ski school, SS, that's related. You can find out what the place of employment is from the venue code. You can find the address of employment from the venue code. This address of employment also related to the venue code. But if we look at this file, basically what we have is the ski school under venue type is actually, as we saw, is related to the venue type code here. So this ski school is not directly, this venue type column is not directly dependent on our assigned primary key, the venue code. It's also dependent on the venue type code. So when this happens, we have to take this information to its own file or own spreadsheet. So I'm going to go file, new, blank workbook. Then I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to copy the venue type code. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to, let's cut the venue type into here, ski school. So I'm going to delete this column to move it up. Okay, so every single thing in here now is dependent on the venue code. And um, so that's what we want. So if we look at the other one now that we just made, the venue type is dependent on the venue type code only. So let's have a look at the other information. So they say in this question, so we've got to use Almu jobs at CSV as well. So if we open up that file, this file over here is already in the form that we want it to be in. It's related, the information is relatable to each other. The only field besides the primary key that's in this file is the job description. And you can see that the job description is only dependent on the job code here. So that's already done for us and removing any duplicates from this file. There are no duplicates in the primary key. So this is already in the form that we want it to be in. All right, so let's see if we can get back to our, I don't know why it keeps on deleting this employee spreadsheet, but I'm gonna try and open it again. Okay, so what we did was we previously cut this information out okay so when you paste it it would, it would disappear okay so our employees if we're working with people we're gonna have access to allow itself to assign primary keys for these employees okay because job code is not a good primary key here because a does not tell us which person it's associated with because there are multiple a's here each person has probably the same job code, doing the same type of jobs, etc. So you cannot uniquely identify each person via the job code. So we will have to let Access assign that primary key. Okay, but what we need to do is just make sure that the this table here, so what we did was we copied the venue code. We want to keep venue code still in this original document so that we can use this venue code to be a link to the venue code information in this file here and we're leaving venue type code over here this is going to be a value that we can use to link to venue type code over here so i think we have our four files now looks like they are ready to be imported so let's just accept there's one more step we've got to do which is the duplicate step 
So what we want to do now is look at the, the primary key of each of these files. And you can see a venue code. There are duplicates in the venue code. So step three is remove duplicates if you see them in the primary key. So for that one, let me just go back there. Okay, so what we're going to do is highlight this information. And then under data at the top, remove duplicates. So you can see that venue code, the primary key here is in column D. So I'm unticking all the others. I'm going to say OK. And it removes the duplicates. So this file is done. The employees, they, we don't have to worry about duplicates here. Every single employee, they're all different here, all these people. And Access is going to sign its own primary key here, so we don't have to worry about this file. Let's check in the next one. Okay, so the venue type code here is our primary key in this file, because venue type is dependent on it. So, same as before, highlight this information. I'm going to go remove duplicates. And column A is our primary key, so remove duplicates from there. We'll be left with three, it looks like. And if we look at jobs, this is already, it already doesn't have duplicates. So that's all sorted for us. Okay, cool. So what we could do now, we can save our tables with appropriate names. All right, so this table here is about the venue. So I'm going to go File, Save As. And I'm going to call it venue. But just remember that let me just get this location. So just to keep this information in all together. So that load there we go. And remember in access to import files in access, it has to be saved as a CSV file. And then we hit save, so that's the one file done. Say OK, say yes to every single thing it says. Then I can close it. Already saved it, so I don't have to worry. This table here is about employees, so I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to call it Employees. CSV, you're going to save this. Say yes to whatever questions, then close it. It's already saved. This is about the jobs, so I'm going to save this as jobs. Let's save. Yes. I'm going to close this. And the last one's the venue type, so I'm going to go File, Save As. And for venue type, I'm going to type Venue, and then type with the capital T, so you can clearly see it's two different words just combined together. And I'm going to save that as CSV as well. Hit save. And so okay. Okay, so we should have our four CSV files here. We've got employees, jobs, venue, and venue type. And these are the four tables that we're going to use to import into Access. So we'll stop this video for now. So that is just getting our files ready for importation.